to the Emmys. Sincerely, fuck you. How in the world did Better Call Saul, my favorite series, not win a single Emmy? How in the world can you give Better Call Saul 53 Emmy nominations, as Variety puts right here, and not get a single Emmy? How was it never nominated for cinematography, for the way it looks? In what ridiculous and absurd world, (laughs) only in this world, the level of stupidity from the Emmys comes where they give Game of Thrones season 8, which every single Game of Thrones fan basically doesn't like season 8 compared to the other seasons. How does that defeat season 4 of Better Call Saul? In what world does that drama series win for season 8 and not Better Call Saul for season 4? What level of stupidity is that? In what world? That doesn't even make any fucking sense. If you saw season 4 of Better Call Saul, if you definitely saw season 4 of Better Call Saul, you know that it's incredible. It's amazing. It's impeccable. The writing is top notch. It's top tier as Breaking Bad. Cinematography top tier is Breaking Bad. Everything is top tier. You had a fucking Starbucks cup on the last season, season eight of Game of Thrones, and how did Better Call Saul not win? Not only that, his last chance right here for Better Call Saul, for Bob Odenkirk, for everybody, for Rhea. Not a single win. I love Succession. I love Succession. But enough is enough, man. Enough is enough. Succession has won how many times? You know how I know this is stupid? You know how I know this is completely stupid? Ridiculous and absurd? I was wondering to myself, there's no way these people actually saw the show and never gave it an Emmy. And I was right. (laughs) I was fucking right. Of course I was right. I just figured out that what the Emmys actually does is they watch one episode that the show has to pick that is what they think is the best episode of the season so let's say it's season six episode three best episode of the season and of course if i like the show i'm gonna think it's amazing but i watched the whole season i watched the whole series The Emmys only watch one episode? The fucking Emmys only watch one episode? Are you serious? How ridiculous is this? How in the world are you going to dictate that this is the best show, best drama series if you only watch one episode? It's ridiculous. If it's 10 episodes, you only watched watched one-tenth of the entire season. And you're trying to dictate that? No wonder you pick Game of Thrones season eight. It's ridiculous, and let's let's be honest. And I love Succession. I've given great reviews of it. I love the ending, even when people didn't like the ending, or well, some people, because a lot of people did. But let's be completely honest about it. Succession being on HBO is a big, big value play. Because it gives it the notoriety for people to pay attention to it, for people to watch it, for the Emmys to actually watch it more. Because I'm pretty sure the people voting, at least one of these shows, they've watched entirely the season. And it's probably Succession. And it's a good show. It's great. I love it. But you're going to do that with the show that you actually watch and enjoy and not watch a single time. A full season of Better Call Saul. Are you serious? You didn't watch it. You did not watch a full season. I'm telling you. If you would have. You would have known. It should have been nominated for Best Cinematography. And it should have won at least once. Excuse me. It should have won at least once. With 53 nominations. 
But what you did was you probably watched Succession Season 4 in its entirety. And you said, let me go ahead and watch this show. The one episode that they dictated for me. In your spare time, you watch the entirety of Succession because you enjoy it and it's great. You just watch what you were obligated to watch of Better Call Saul Season 6, the one episode. If that, if you actually even did your job and watched it. Because there's no way you saw Season 6 in its entirety and thought, this isn't masterful. The way they tied Breaking Bad into it in the end, knowing this was a prequel. The way the black and white is actually further in the story compared to the film that is in color being more in the past. The way the prequel nearly basically at the same level as Breaking Bad and then it all ties it up. Both the prequel and Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, towards the end and you get a big finale of what happens with Saul Goodman and Jimmy McGill. I don't know, man. Generally, you know what award Better Call Saul wins for me? The Isaac Awards Best Drama Series. I'm giving out the award, man. Fuck it. Best, best series. So I even put it right here. Like, Better Call Saul has officially entered. This isn't me, by the way. This is somebody else. But I'm just putting it here because other series have had this happen to them. The Too Good for Emmys Pantheon. Alongside The Wire, It's Always Sunny, The Leftovers, Bojack Horseman. How the fuck does The Wire not have an Emmy? That is ridiculous. That that doesn't even make sense. Another thing, how in the world... How in the world... Is No Fall not getting any nominations? Did they not apply? It has to be they didn't apply. But it has six seasons... Are you serious? It never won an Emmy, never won. It's ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. Bob Odenkirk had his heart stop, nearly died, and came back to give us the absolute best performance on TV. This man literally had a heart attack. (laughs) This guy, this guy literally had a heart attack in the last season and came back to life and delivered this epic of a performance. And by the way, I did enjoy a lot his latest show, Lucky Hank, which, which, by the way, they didn't renew for another season. But I loved the show actually. For him to win, not for him not to win this year or any year for Better Call Saul is fucking criminal. Thirty-four K people agree. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Everybody was like, "What the fuck?" Seventy-nine K. How in the world? Listen, I love the White Lotus. I love the White Lotus. You can see here, Breaking Bad, 58 nominations, 16 Emmys. 53 nominations, Better Call Saul, zero Emmys. How in the fucking world? Listen, Bob doesn't... He's like, get me out of here. At this point, I don't even care. You guys never pick me. It's ridiculous. Suffer more than Jesse Pigman. That's what somebody put. And by the way, the Emmys had its lowest in history viewership. Only 4.3 million viewers. Is it surprising that the Emmys only had 4.3 million viewers? Of course it's not the lowest in history for a reason. This shit was pathetic. This shit was stupid as hell. This shit was stupid as hell. So how in the world? I love the White Lotus, like I said. But how in the world did they give it to her? I forgot her name, the blonde lady. That was hilarious on the White Lotus. (laughs) She dies at the end of the season. Spoilers. If you didn't watch it. That's on you. Fuck you. But, but either way, that last episode of the, the White Lotus, the blonde, comedic, funny lady, great. She's great, but she did not deserve it over Better Call Saul Rhea. And I hope I'm saying her name right, Rhea. Seahorn. She deserved it. That's my opinion. It is what it is. Let me know what you think. I'm out.